Hi, Aries. Okay, so it's L here. We're going to do a quick reading for you. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, it looks like somebody thinks about you, especially around the moon cycles. This could have been a relationship that goes in cycles where you guys go hot and heavy, then nothing or very little. Um, this is something about it, something being hidden also. I don't know if this person wants you to be their hidden lover. We've got the Leo coming out, could be a Leo. And then we have the fifth house, passion. So uh, it talks about love affairs, uh, romance, uh, costume. So to put on a costume is something hidden. I don't know if this person wants you to be, you know, a third party. You know, but um, with the sudden wealth, all of a sudden, they're having this big or these big uh you know these big thoughts about you emotions towards you towards manifesting this you want to get lucky with you you know what that means they see you as a single independent woman not in need of anything so all they can you know they just see it as easy you know like oh we can just have a fun relationship and this person could be at a distance from you and tip and already in a relationship they want you know the secret relationship with you they may have already you know given somebody a, a title they already be married this could be a person from your past like you knew them maybe in childhood or college or something like that. I don't know. But you have a significant history with them. I don't know if this was a a fling. If you had a fling with this person and then now they want to revive it. But all of a sudden they want to revive it. It feels as if this person wants you to help take their mind off of the pettiness and the drama that exists in a relationship that they already have. One that they feel trapped in. They want the opportunity to reconcile with you, have a good time with you, have fun with you, be your lover, you be their lover. They want you to come and rescue them out of, you know, maybe a bored or stuck situation. They want you to run interference or cause uh, opposition here. Can you see that? Opposition. Yeah. Um... Yeah, they want you to cause conflict, you know. Manifest. We also talk about manifest. It's like they're manifesting you. Like, please come back because, okay, so keep this in mind, ladies. If you're dealing with a married man or a coupled man, you know that they know that you know. Um, all you are doing is keeping their relationship intact because what you are doing is offering an outlet, right? A fun um no strings attached, jovial outlet for them to have fun with you and then go back home. So you're making it tolerable for them to be in an intolerable relationship or situationship. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with somebody and you're the third party, all you're doing is, you know, prolonging a bad situation. You know, that person shouldn't be looking outside of their relationship for healing, quote unquote healing or an escape. They should be trying to fix their relationship or leave, right? So just keep that in mind, ladies, um, because we do have somebody here who just really wants you back. And they want you in the capacity of, you know, they want to steal some more time from you, more energy. They see you as, you know, a little mature and the privileged lady. You know, that's kind of um, equivalent to the empress. They see you as, you know, you, you already got your shit together. I don't have to do much for her and come over to her house and hang out and lay around and sleep around and do this and do it and I can leave and go home so um keep that in mind this is what I have for you Aries if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy a coffee link this is what I have for you. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Bye, guys.